Well, Stonehenge in the UK is one of the most recognizable sites in the world. The stone circle has stood on a plain west of London for about 5,000 years. It's a place of pilgrimage for Druids and a place of wonder for millions of tourists. So a plan to build a road underneath it has led to outrage. Crystal Gamansing on the backlash to the Stonehenge Tunnel. Stonehenge, with its collection of prehistoric monuments, is known the world over. Yet it's what could soon be under a portion of the United Nations World Heritage Site that some find astounding. The way that he's um, suggested that you can put a huge road through, the, through a World Heritage Site and it doesn't cause significant damage or substantial harm seems quite incredulous to us. Britain's Transport Secretary recently approved the project despite an independent planning inspector saying it would cause permanent irreversible harm. The project would see a 3.2 kilometer two-lane tunnel dug under the iconic site, a move said to improve traffic flow and commerce. The UN lobbied against it, saying it would affect Stonehenge's outstanding universal value. Construction, if it goes ahead, could jeopardize the World Heritage Site's designation. The head of Highways England argues the project is an improvement. This tunnel will remove the visibility of the road from the landscape, it will reduce vehicle noise, and it will restore Stonehenge to something like its original setting. So they say that the tunnel will potentially enhance some aspects of the heritage site, whilst still acknowledging that there will be damage to, to other parts. And we say that sort of offsetting isn't allowed by the international conventions, the World Heritage Convention. Stonehenge is one of those iconic World Heritage sites, along with maybe the pyramids and the Taj Mahal. And I think we'd all be horrified if, if things went ahead, you know, causing damage to those sites. The Stonehenge Alliance formally asked the government to withdraw approval for the project, but it hasn't heard back. In the meantime, it's rallying support with an online petition. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.